everybody and welcome to another video. I hope everybody is doing well and that you had a wonderful holiday, whatever holiday you celebrate. I hope it was amazing. I know I had a really good holiday. I was really fortunate enough to spend it with my family, so I was really grateful for that. But enough of that. Today we are here with a mug part two video. Uh, last summer I did a video on all the mugs that I had painted or bought. Most of them are handmade. I love to hand paint mugs. It is very much like my therapy and it always calms me down if I'm ever in like a really just bad mood or if I'm just feeling really sad. I always go to paint mugs and one of my favorite little small shops paint the town was doing delivery kits during this time of lockdown and quarantine and so when that started up I started ordering a whole bunch of mugs and painting them all for myself I did do some for other people but a lot of them were for myself and then when the store opened up I could get them fired and also do home kits so you can go pick out your supplies at their store and then bring them back with you and I have accumulated a ton of mugs over this time I just counted all of them and I've painted at least over 15 mugs it's kind of ridiculous because I just love it so much and it's come to the point where I filled my shelves so much that I don't have any more room for any other mugs if I wanted to paint more. So I thought I would show you guys today all the mugs that I've painted during this time. Some of them I actually painted before we did quarantine and I wanted to show you those too. And then I have two store-bought ones that I also want to show you. And then the rest are all hand painted by me. Anyway, without further ado, let's get on to the video. So the first two mugs I'm going to be showing you are store-bought mugs. So the first store-bought one is a Harry Potter themed mug and it is a Luna Lovegood themed mug. I love this mug so much and I found this mug when I was visiting my friend um, and we were shopping and I saw this mug out of the corner of my eye. She saw it too. She grabbed it and then she's like there's actually another one and so I grabbed that one and now we both have matching mugs but it has Luna Lovegood and it says don't let the muggles get you down. It's so adorable and then it is pink on the inside and I just think this is so adorable. The last store-bought mug I have to show you is Doctor Who themed and this is what it looks like. It has the TARDIS and it's just so cute and then um, on the other side it has a space for when you put hot water in it the TARDIS will disappear and it'll appear uh, in space. So I thought that was really cool and I also uh, gave this mug to my friend as well. So we both had matching Doctor Who mugs and Luna Lovegood Harry Potter mugs. So those are the two store-bought mugs that I have to show you today. Now the rest I'm going to be showing you are all the ones that I painted either before and during this quarantine. So sticking with the Harry Potter theme, I have some Harry Potter ones to show you. So the first Harry Potter one I have is the Fantastic Beasts one. Now I know it's not Harry Potter but it's Part of the wizarding world so i have my fantastic beast mug and i decided to make this mug when i met dan fogler last year at rose city comic con so it has the fantastic beast logo and then it has newt scamander's suitcase on the back and then on the inside i like to write all the names of the characters and so that is what I did here. I wrote all the names of the characters. So we have Newt and Tina and Queenie and Jacob. And then we have a little heart, of course. So that is all the names on the inside. And it's just this gorgeous dark blue color. And I think it turned out so amazing. The next Harry Potter one is a Hermione themed one. So the Hermione themed one has her, of course, famous time turner from The Prisoner of Azkaban because that book is my favorite. So I had to do a Hermione mug, of course. So I have her time turner and if you can see I have little stars um, all along here and then we have the sand. And then I did the chain where it kind of went up and around uh, the back a little bit and then inside the mug as well. So that is my Hermione Granger themed mug and I love it so much. Next we have a, another Luna themed mug and I decided to do her Spectre Specs of course so I think this one turned out amazing and I love it so much. So, and then on the inside it is pink and I was gonna write you're just as sane as I am on the inside but I forgot so we just have the Spectre Specs 
and pink on the inside, which I love very much. The next Harry Potter mug is probably one of my favorites, and it is this one. It is wearing the Hogwarts robes. I came up with this idea one day. I was just like, I'm going to do one that looks like when you're drinking out of it, you're wearing the Hogwarts robes, and I just thought it was so stinking cute, and I just love the way it turned out. So we, of course, have the Gryffindor tie, which is my house, and then we have the robes, and then it's just black all the way around. But yes, I love how this mug turned out. It's so stinking cute. The last Harry Potter mug I have to show you is something that I wanted to do to represent my accomplishment of reading all seven books of Harry Potter in seven months uh, on Facebook Live. I would get up every day and at 10 a.m. I would go live and I would read a chapter a day of Harry Potter and we started from the first book all the way to the seventh book. And so to commemorate that a huge accomplishment in my life, I decided to put all the names of the books titles on it to a mug and I found this idea on Pinterest. I saw this idea and I was like I have to put this on a mug because it's so cute and it definitely represents that huge accomplishment for me. So we have stone and then um, obviously it has the sorcerer's stone as the O and then we have chamber and it looks like a little snake right there of course and then the Godric Gryffindor sword and then we have prisoner with the marauder's mat feet and we have the Goblet of Fire with the Goblet and the Fire, of course. And then we have the Order of the Phoenix with Luna's Spectre Specs. And then we have Prince with the Half-Blood Prince book. And then we have Hallows along the bottom with the Deathly Hallows symbol. And then, of course, I had to put the Golden Snitch on the side of it because I think that just completed the entire mug. And I love this so much. And I'm so proud of it. Moving on to... Disney themed mugs. I love Disney and I have one Disney mug. I actually showed you guys in my last mug haul video and it has the original Disney castle from like the 90s on it but then I decided I wanted to make more Disney mugs because that's how much I love Disney and so some of these are character themed and I'm going to show you those ones first. So the first character themed one I have is based off of Ariel. So we have her seashells and then the inside I wanted to represent her mermaid tail so I decided to paint the inside like a turquoise green or like a sea foam green. So I did the inside that color and then of course I had to put the names of some of my favorite characters from the Little Mermaid on the inside. So we have Ariel and Eric and Triton and Sebastian and Scuttle and Flounder all on the inside. So that is what the inside of the mug looks like with all the names. And then of course I had to write Handmade by Jasmine and the date that I finished it in red to represent Ariel's hair. And that is my Ariel themed mug. I think it turned out so cute and I love it so much. Next character theme mug I have to show you is based off of one of my favorite movies and that is Tangled. I love Tangled so much. I even got to meet Zachary Levi once. It was awesome. So this is my Tangled themed mug and it has the sun that represents uh, Rapunzel and then we have the inside which is purple which represents her dress of course and then on the other side I decided to do some flower details to represent the flowers on Rapunzel's hair and then on the inside of course we have all the names that I love so we have Flynn Rider and Maximus and Pascal and Rapunzel herself, which I, I just, I love this mug so much. And then of course I did little flowers on the inside to represent her hair as well. So yeah, that is my uh, Rapunzel themed mug. Next character themed mug I have to show you is Aladdin because I love Aladdin. Also, um, me and Princess Jasmine share the same name. So of course I had to do one. So we have the lamp right here. And then on the inside we have the same color. I painted my Ariel mug to represent Jasmine's outfit that she wears. And then of course I wrote the names on the inside. So we have Jasmine and Aladdin and Dabu and Genie and Raja. So that is the inside of my uh, Jasmine slash Aladdin themed mug. Next and last character theme mug I have to show you is represented by one of my favorite movies and that is Alice in Wonderland and I painted it to look like the treasure cat because he is my favorite character of all time. I just love him and also my stepdad and I we really bonded over Alice in Wonderland so I couldn't make a mug 
without painting it to look like the treasure cat so that is what I did and so I painted his stripes and then of course I put his smile and then on the inside it's just pink and I love this mug so much it was so fun to make and also when you're drinking out of it it looks like you have his smile and I just think that's adorable last Disney themed mug is one that I've been wanting to do for a while and I obviously want to do more I just don't know which ones I want to do and that is painting Disney Mickey ears onto them so these are the ones that I did I found this idea on Pinterest so we have the Cinderella castle as the bow for the ears and then we have flowers for the flower crown and then the wiring for the Mickey Mouse ears and then we have the headband of course I love this mug and I'm so so proud of it it's one of the mugs I'm most proud of just because of all the detail but that's what it looks like and then on the inside is pink which I love so much I just this mug is amazing and I want to make more like this but I'm not sure which ones to do so I'll have to think about that for a while. <laughs> Moving on to TV show mugs. I love making these. These are my favorites because it also shows how much I love that TV show. And every time I drink out of whatever one I want, it makes me really happy. So the first mug I have to show you is a Glee themed mug. I love Glee so much and recently during this time I watched the entire eight seasons and I was like I have to make a Glee mug because I love it so much and the soundtrack is amazing like I just love all of it so I got this idea also off the internet or Pinterest I saw there was a mug like this and I said I have to recreate it so I decided to do a Glee mug with all of their names on it and then having something that represents each character so we have Puck and his guitar, Mike and his shoe, we have Kurt and his tie, we have Mr. Schuster and I just tried to make it a sweater vest since he wears a lot of sweater vests and then we have Rachel with a star in the middle, we have Blaine with his bow tie, we have Brittany with her cat because of Lori Tubbington, we have Mercedes and her music note because she became a singer. Then we have Finn with the football because he was the quarterback, obviously. We have Santana. Um, I just did her red because she was just like fire in my eyes. And then we have Quinn with her prom queen crown. We have Tina because she was in like her vampire phase. We have Artie with his wheels. And then we have Sam. And we have Sue Sylvester and I made the Vita look like her tracksuit. I I think this mug turned out so amazing and just I love it so much and then on the inside it says and that's what you missed on Glee so that is my Glee mug and I love it so much it's so cute and every time I drink out of this I like immediately want to listen to some Glee music next TV show mug I have to show you is a psych mug of course I had to make a psych mug psych is one of my favorite shows ever and I do have a psych mug that one is smaller and I also wanted to make a bigger psych mug because I like bigger mugs so this is my psych mug and I love this one so much it has the psych logo and then of course I put the pineapple on it of course and with the letters I traced them on here and then painted them in but I think this one turned out so amazing. And then of course on the inside I had to paint it green and put all of my favorite characters names on it. Sean and Gus and Juliet and Carlton and Chief Vic and Henry. And then on the inside of course I had to put what because that is one of my favorite quotes from the show. And every time I drink out of it, it just makes me real happy. Next TV show mug is inspired by one of my favorite television series that I watched this year and that is Schitt's Creek. I love Schitt's Creek so much. It is so funny. David is my favorite. He's like my spirit animal. I just love it. So I decided to base it off of the Rose Apothecary store that David opens up later in the season. So this is my interpretation of it. And this color is actually called Rosy Posy. And I was like, this is the perfect color to paint my Schitt's Creek mug. I painted my mug in that color. And then of course I did my interpretation of the roses that we see on the outside of David's shop. And then of course, Rose Apothecary handmade 
with care. And then on the inside, of course, it wouldn't be a Jasmine themed mug without all the characters' names on the inside. So that is what I did. So we have David and Alexis, and we have Moira and Johnny and Stevie and Patrick. So those are all the names on the inside, of course. And I love this mug so much as well. It just makes me happy. All these mugs make me really happy. So I guess I don't really have a favorite, but this is my Shit's Creek mug. So my last three TV show mugs I have to show you are a show that I recently just started, and that is Supernatural. I know I was so late to the party. I started in May because my friend was had been watching the show when I was visiting her. She was about to start the 15th season, and I was like, hold it. I have not seen Supernatural yet. She goes, what? Like, what? She goes, I watch it every year. You have to watch it. So immediately when I got back from her house, I turned on my laptop, I turned on Netflix, and I pressed play on the first episode of Supernatural. And as soon as I started it, I said, I'm going to be in trouble because I knew it was going to be so good. And I fell in love with it. I mean, I watch it all the time. Now that it's over, like, tear, I still watch it because it's still one of my favorite shows. And... Dean is my favorite. He will always be, always and forever. Just, he is my dude. I just love him. So, since I fell in love with the Supernatural fandom, I could not help but make some mugs representing my favorite show. So the first Supernatural themed mug I have is of course, Baby. Could not help it but put her on a mug. I am so proud of it. I love it. I drink out of it all the time because it makes me happy whenever I'm feeling in like a supernatural kind of mood. I always drink out of this because I just love it. So we have baby and of course I had to put the Kansas license plate on here and I just I love it so much. And then of course on this side I wrote 1967 Chevrolet Impala. And then on the inside I put Sam and Dean and then on the other side I put Supernatural of course. So that is my first supernatural themed mug and I love this so much it might even be my favorite because I've just been loving supernatural lately so this is my top favorite right now but I loved how she turned out she is gorgeous next supernatural mug I have to show you is based off a keychain that my friend got me for my birthday this year and it is the anti-possession symbol like my interpretation of it and um so I made this without a template. <laughs> Usually I have templates when I paint on my mugs, but this one was very freehand. So I did my version of the anti-possession symbol. And then of course on the side I wrote supernatural. And then on the inside I wrote one of my favorite quotes, which is family don't end with blood. So that is the second supernatural themed mug I have to show you. Last supernatural themed mug I have to show you is one that I'm also very proud of. And it is this one I did actually trace the anti-possession symbol on here and I am so proud of it and then of course I had to do another favorite uh, quote or mantra of mine which is always keep fighting I've had this in my head for a while and I was like I have to do it I love it so much and then of course I wrote supernatural on the side so that is my last supernatural theme mug I have to show you and I just she's so beautiful I just love it very much last mug I have to show you is a mug that I recently just made I picked it up right before I went over to my dad's for Christmas and this mug is based off of one of my favorite bands that I have been listening to throughout this entire quarantine and I've really fallen in love with and it's really helped me through this time and whenever I feel angry I sing to it or if ever I'm wanting to feel very calm I listen to it or if I'm feeling sad and I just need a good cry I'll listen to it and it's just really beautiful and it is the band that Jensen Ackles is a part of who plays Dean Winchester in Supernatural and his friend Steve Carlson who he's a part of it with and that is Radio Company so I decided to do a Radio Company mug because I love them so much as I said their music is just so beautiful and it's helped me a lot so I decided to do Radio Company mug because I love them and I've had it on repeat ever since I started listening to it it's just constantly playing so of course I had to do one 
so I traced this outline all by myself and then I cut each individual like piece so I cut the clouds and the sun out and then I traced over them and then um, I also traced over the hills and mountains after I cut out each one and then of course I colored it in with my interpretation of the colors on the album so this is what it turned out to be like and I did show you the process in my vlogmas, but this is what it looks like when it's fired and it's so beautiful and I'm so proud of it and I'm just like really happy. I've been wanting to do a Radio Company mug for a while just because of how much the music means to me. So of course I had to do one. And then of course I did the inside orange because that is the background color of their album. And so I was like, I'm gonna make the inside orange and then make the front cover of the album like a staple piece. So that is what I did and I just love it so much. And then of course on the side, I had to put Radio Company obviously because that is the band name. And I was gonna put volume one, but then I thought, no, it just needs to be like this. So this is my Radio Company mug. It is the newest addition to my collection and I just, I love it. It's beautiful. And I drank out of it this morning and I just was in love with it. So yeah. So that is the end of my huge mug collection part two haul. If you would like to see the one that I did last summer, I will try to link it in the description below so you can check out more mugs that I've painted over the years. Also some store bought ones mixed in there too. So I hope you guys all enjoyed this mug collection video and let me know in the comments below which one was your favorite. Um, my favorite is a tie between the Radio Company mug and Baby right now just because they're part of my newest edition and I just I love them so thank you guys so much for watching I hope you guys all enjoyed this mug haul and if you did you can give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I will see you guys all with another video bye guys